been a long time coming. When I was in high school, um, I was 14, I moved into my pool house in my parents' backyard and I lived there for the summer. So I've kind of always had that kind of, I don't know, desire for independence and having my own space and that kind of thing. That was definitely an inspiration for me. The reason I live in the van really is um, saving money is great and I'm, I'm a pretty thrifty person in general, but it's really just the freedom. I mean, I couldn't imagine having to choose a neighborhood to live in. Um, that's the big thing. Like, uh, I, you know, I've subletted in the winter months for a couple months and the fact that I have to go home to the same place every night, like it's the monotony of that is, uh, and then coupled with the nine to five job, it kind of, it's, it's too much, like in terms of the scale of balance. Uh, whereas this, it's like, okay, sure, I'll, you know, I'll work a nine to five job, but then I can come home to, to this and park wherever I want and be on the road on the weekends and do whatever I want. So it's kind of, uh, it, it just kind of balances everything out for me at least. Um, it's not for everyone. It's a 1977 GMC Vendura, and it's loud, it's a beast, but it works, and I love it. I had been looking for a van for a long time, uh, and um, this is actually my third van that I've, I've lived in. This van I purchased from a German guy named Moritz. He had it on the market for $750, and, um, and when he started the engine, and I was like, oh, I don't know about this, and then he's like, you can have it for 500 <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'll take it. It was, you know, I just like the simplicity of it. The previous owner was, he worked in construction and he just kind of wanted a place to lay his head. Uh, he was a guy, so it was taller. So the bed was actually a bit longer. Um, I sleep horizontally, uh, he slept this way. So I had a friend kind of do some carpentry and cut down the bed so there's more space. Um, and then this sink, the, the water pump and this kind of shelving was here. Um, and then I just kind of, it's all been really makeshift. Um, I have no carpentry skills whatsoever. So it's, everything's really, um, really simple and there's no technical anything. I make a living, I work in HR, um, so I, yeah, I, I do HR for a large hospitality corporate office, um, and I love what I do. This totally, this totally fits into my, my master plan of my, my whole, um, so uh, I generally, I'll, I'll work super hard for, you know, four or five years. Um, this is kind of my second time doing this, so, but not necessarily living in a van, um, just, you know, either working two jobs or, you know, living in a communal house, um, so the rent is cheaper, but uh, this time, you know, I have been living in a van for three years, so, and being able to, to save a lot of money. Um, so rather than, you know, if you think of your life in as, you know, this big chunk of time, most people work and then retire for, 15 or 20 or whatever it is, but there was a TED talk that I listened to once and it was talking about how instead we should work for five years and then have a year off. So just con consistently have a year of retirement spaced into our work. And I mean, it, it makes sense for me and this really allows me to, you know, to be able to do that and achieve that. And, um, and yeah, I think it just, rather than having all of, you know, having a big chunk of the same experience, you're able to um, to break it up and I think you, you grow more as a person, you're able to, to experience more and um, ultimately just, you know, your life is more fulfilling and yeah, you get to see different different sides of life and you know, I can, I can, I feel like I've lived like four different lives already and you know, I'm, I'm 32, so. My plan is um, I've, I've quit my job um, and in about three weeks, three or four weeks, um, I'll be going down to California and then uh, making my way to Baja um, and then kind of, I don't know what the plan or the for the van is, I might barge it over to the island, um, I might sell it, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> um, and then yeah, probably go to go traveling uh, overseas to, to the Philippines, Indonesia, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, any recommendations? <laughs> I think the biggest challenge 
you know, living this lifestyle would be, I guess, other people's judgments of it. You never know people's reactions. Like sometimes I think someone's going to be really, um, you know, uh, open and, and, you know, pretty accepting of this lifestyle and then I'll tell them that and, and then they, they won't be. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, I love it and I, I can't imagine, um, you know, I've been happily doing it for three years. I guess the cold weather, the winters aren't, aren't the best, um, but, but really, I mean, it's the freedom outweighs anything else.